Next one. As this one comes from Andreas Yukis. Yes. Which cameras are capable of shooting photos in RAW and JPEG formats at the same time? Because this is a mode that not every camera is supporting. No, you're absolutely right. Some are offering you to have the uncompressed uh, data file, the RAW. Yep. Or the, the, uh, the compressed one, the JPEG. So it happens sometimes that some cameras offer you the chance to, ha to take two pictures at the same time. Yes, that's like absolutely right. Raw, which, needs to, which can be modified later on, much far easier than, than a JPEG uh, uh, picture. But is it, which camera does support that here from, from Lumix? OK, so um, if we come over to the booth here, we yeah. have uh, what we were discussing yesterday, the G5. Yes. So our brand new uh, Lumix G5, I'll just switch this on here. But before I go into any demonstration on here, basically the answer to the question is the LX7 is the highest compact we, we range. Yes, and that shoots, which I'm still a big which, fan already. You showed your excitement yesterday, which yes. we're going to cover a lot of that tomorrow. But because the LX5 was awesome. That's oh, why absolutely. Yeah. Uh, an, amazing, an amazing piece of kit. That will shoot in RAW and that will shoot in JPEG. So that's the only compact that we sell that will shoot in RAW. It's the entry level then to the rest of the cameras that shoot both, as you, your, uh, the person's just said, in uh, JPEG and RAW, but in different levels as well. So what we yeah, can do... I'm never, I'm never sure what I'm really going to do afterwards with the picture. That's why that's one of the benefits of having the two standards at the same time. Yeah, and of course you mentioned editing. So if you shoot in JPEG, it's obviously a little bit more difficult to edit than, than full RAW. But yeah, but also but it's very important just to, to, to make people understand what it's really about because otherwise it's like, oh, I need to be, uh, also, I'm also going to be, uh, uh, I have to do the same thing as professionals. It's not, ne it's not really necessary yeah. just to do it the way that um, Andreas is asking for it. It's really a matter of what is it that you want to do with the pictures later on. If you are a professional photographer, you just want to work uh, with the pictures afterwards with the, uh, with the data, then it's better to have uncompressed data so there's so much yeah. more to do with it than just simply with a JPEG. But when it comes just to have a vacation, just to take a few pictures of the family, friends, and all whatsoever, trust me, the JPEG quality should be more than sufficient for, yes. that, for these matters. You're absolutely right. Everyday use, um, out and about, you know, holidays, everyday fun, JPEG is more than enough to, 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 to use. You're absolutely yes. right. And I can show you very, very quickly on here. Uh, if we go into the um, quick menu, and if I just move across, also, I don't really consider that as really easy because these experts still have to switch like from model to model. So I understand it's always going to take go. a few you, seconds to adapt. As you can see, we can shoot in RAW, we can shoot in uh, a lower compressed RAW file. Both, as you, uh, Andreas, I think uh, uh, we're identifying is both in RAW and JPEG yes. and full JPEG as well. Yeah. But don't not forgetting that RAW obviously takes up a lot more memory and it is far it, more yeah, yeah, up to yeah. like what's the conversion? Well it depends on the quality of the it, it does. But I think you know for everyday user that's coming into either of these cameras, so it's both the G F five and the G five, the G three, the G X one you can shoot in all those formats. Okay. Uh, any compact such as the T Z thirty uh, downwards will only shoot in um, JPEG. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Th that's for the models, and I think like the, the conversion rate. It's not, it's not a rate, but I think when when a like, uh, nicely done JPEG should take about like two up to four megabytes. Yeah, possibly. Like again, walking yes, up goes yes. up to like 40, 60, depending of course like, how many megapixels uh, you're shooting with. So Andres, this is your.